So it seems like there's a new AI video model coming out every single day. So in this video, what I'm going to do is run a fun and very real test. I'm taking the same exact prompt and giving it to three of the strongest video models available today. Kling 2.6, VO 3.1 and LTX Pro. And I'm also going to show you how you can replace a character inside a video using the Kling 01 video model, which is incredible. So we'll watch each model create the same exact scene side by side so you can see the difference in detail, motion, realism and overall quality and since prompting plays a huge role in getting good results i'll also walk you through a simple prompting guide and i'll show you how you can download the full guide completely for free all right let's get started all right so i'm going to go ahead and use 11 labs because they have image to video models and they have a bunch of really other uh features that i really like and it's going to be a lot easier to showcase here so click on a link in the description uh sign up for 11 labs account i'm going to click on login here so that way because i already have an account so what i'm going to do is come on the left hand side here and click on image to video and these are the different models that are available so all of these models that are available here for you to generate video and images of course you can uh, create that yourself as well so i'm just going to click on video here and the first thing we're going to do is uh we're going to come up with a a detailed prompt something that's simple uh, but that kind of captures what we're trying to do and of course we're trying to create that wide angle shot of a Lamborghini coming in and close up so because that's a really cool video so what I'm gonna do is first walk you through quickly on the prompting guide so this is just a PDF guide that I created on how to prompt the vi these video models properly if you want this guide just comment prompt and I can send you a link on where you can get this completely for free but essentially what you want to do is you want to start with the core idea right you want to start what's happening where it's happening kind of the mood of the scene itself you want to describe the camera movement really clearly and then afterwards you want to define the characters and then add like a secondary object if needed right because you want to, and then another thing is you want to also give it a world a description of the world around the scene itself so if it's something like a Lamborghini then I'm gonna you know I'm gonna show you exactly what that problem looks like but essentially that's the world right a wide angle camera shot of a cityscape zooming in on a Lamborghini so that's kind of the environment that you're setting in and then of course you want to explain the lighting in the mood you want to define the motion of each character if needed again this is a lot more comprehensive but this is something that you want to keep things in mind and a bunch of other stuff that's there that you can check out yourself so let's go ahead and now I'm going to open up chat GPT and come up with a prompt here based on that guideline that I showed you all right so based on that uh, quick description and the prompting guide this is what I came up with something very simple again I went back and forth with chat GPT to figure out exactly uh, what I want from this particular uh, scene to be generated based on those prompting guides and I said create a one paragraph because I didn't want to lengthy paragraph so this is what that looks like I said uh, it says a wide aerial shot of a bright yellow Lamborghini speeding through a downtown city grid at dusk weaving through lanes as police cars change from behind with flashing blue and red lights the camera tracks the Lamborghini and this is what I was talking about as far as defining the environment and then also the characters and in this case you know you want to identify exactly what's happening to the car the camera angle the zoom and all of that stuff and as you can see right here in the bottom I'm uh, on the second part of this I'm saying the camera pushes through the glass into the cabin revealing a handsome man in his late 20s grippling on wheel cinematic lights blah 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 so all of that is being described and captured in this one paragraph so again feel free to check out the prompting guide you'll be able to just upload that into chat GPT or Claude or something like that and it can come up with a one paragraph long uh, guide so what I'm gonna do is just copy this and now I'm going to head over to 11 labs. So we're going to do compare three models. First is going to be uh, Kling 2.6, which is actually one of the best and cheapest models, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. And then second, we're going to create the same thing with our Google VO 3.5, 3.1. I'm not going to use 3.1 fast because obviously the 3.1 is a lot, um, a lot more, a lot stronger as far as like understanding and creating the video. <clears throat> because 3.1 fast is most most cost efficient but as far as the quality generation it is a lot different and then i'm also going to use um uh, ltx pro which is another model that's capable of actually creating uh, a 4k video so let's say for instance if we want to choose the uh, cling 2.6 so you just choose this and now they, it gives you different aspect ratios. We want to keep everything 16 by 9. The second, I'm going to ch uh, change everything to 10 seconds. And then audio, you want to make sure it's on. This just basically shows you if you how many generations you want to do. Of course, we want to keep it at one. So as you can see on the right-hand side, this is 
the credit for each particular model. So the, this generation, it says, will cost 8,484 credits. Now, if you're interested in what that conversion means into dollars, you can check out uh, 11 Labs pricing and go through the details so that we see exactly uh, what that looks like in dollar amount. But you'll be able to sign up for a free account as well and they start you with, with credits. But anyways, I want to just focus on the comparison of the amount of credits versus dollars that it costs with these different models. So for instance, Quing 2.6 is 8,000 credits for a 10 second video. And if I were to compare that to uh, Google VO 3.1, as you can see, it says 9,600. So um, a little higher than Quing 2.6. And then also if we were to do LTX, uh, I'm going to do LTX Pro. So this one is a, um, the resolution is 1080p. And if we do 10 seconds, it's, uh, let's see, let it calculate here. So it's 3,636 credits. So as far as the actual, uh, the cost, LTX is the cheapest one. But what we want to do is if we want to do a 4K video which is what we're going to check out. This goes up to like 14,000. So this is the most expensive one. But of course, that's because it's generating a 4K video. And you can also identify the frame per second rate as well. I'm going to choose the 50. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the same exact prompt that we just copied in all of these models. All right, so uh, let's take a look at the LTX one. So this is again, same thing was the same exact prompt that we uh, looked at. And by the way, one thing I did was actually I changed the Lamborghini from yellow to red, because I was like, that's probably going to pop out more. So this is basically the LTX Pro 4K one. And if I click on load 4K here, there you go. Very cool. So as you can see, it really captures that environment, that angle, the camera kind of zooming, starting from the out, kind of looking at the uh, car from the above, and then kind of comes, zooms in right through uh, the windshield here. And that's because it's all based on the prompting that we provided. So that's why, like I said, prompting is such a big aspect of this, because you want to make sure you're providing everything, the angles, the environment, how the camera should move and the focus. And then of course, the characters that's inside. So that's why, and like I said, this is a 4K. That's why it's very expensive. As you can see on the left-hand side, um, this was Let's see, 10 seconds. Yeah, it was generated with 10 seconds LTX Pro with 4K, right? So that's why it's a lot more crisp and a lot cleaner, the image. I mean, you can even see the quality of kind of the, the people that are inside the car, right? Very cool. All right, so that was the LTX Pro. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. Okay, so this is a Google VO 3.1. As you can see, 16 by 9, 1080p. Uh, eight seconds and the sound is on. Same thing, it's the same exact prompt there. So let's go ahead and play this one. <laughs> so I don't know what happened here, but uh, looks like you kind of added these two girls at the end for some reason, instead of having it the, the passenger and then also the, the camera angle or the car or the initial shot kind of starts from the back of the Lamborghini, right? But it captures the Lamborghini really well and it kind of goes through. And then for some reason, it kind of switches from uh, the inside of the car, right? So from the side here, uh, looking at the guy. And then I don't know what happened here, but maybe I didn't understand the prompt fully. But anyways, you can feel free to play around with um, with the prompt there, if you see that you wanted to make changes, obviously this is the hallucination part. Some of them are going to do this. That's why, like I said, I'm going to give all of them the same exact prompt. And then that way it will be able to generate all the same exact ones. And by the way, it does take some time, especially if you're creating, uh, you know, the, the 4k and 1080p, it, that, sometimes it does take a good minute or two. So don't worry if it takes a little longer. Uh, but anyways, so this is VO 3.1. Let me go ahead and set change the other one. Okay. And this one is Kling 2.6. Same thing, a 16 by nine, same exact prompt, 10 seconds, sound on. So let's go ahead and check this out. All right, cool. So it captured the motion properly, zooms in from, you know, from the wide angle, comes through and to the city street there goes towards the uh the car obviously like you know captures the police cars and everything like that and kind of zooms in while this lamborghini is kind of turning so better 
definitely better, but um, it still could do a better job as far as kind of the quality of the image there. So that was Kling 2.6. I also tried another prompt with Kling 2.6 with the yellow Lamborghini. So let's check that out quickly. So this one, I just said a wide aerial shot of a bright yellow Lamborghini speeding through a busy modern city. And then this time it says uh, a small, I said a small stylish dog wearing sunglasses in a cute outfit sit upright next to the next to the car or next to the driver. So let's go ahead and see what this did. Very cool. I like the fact that it's kind of like smiling and the dog is like staring at the person. But same thing, it does do a good job of kind of capturing and zooming into the car from the top here. And it goes directly into the uh, inside the car view of the driver and the dog captures the Lamborghini, the motion, everything looks pretty great. So overall, depending on, like I said, depending on what your cost is, um, it would determine which model you want to use. And of course, if you're using like a higher resolution model, uh, then that will cost you a lot more versus like a Kling 2.6, which is a lot more cost efficient compared to the, all the other models combined. And like I said, if you keep playing around with the prompt, depending on what you, I mean, this is a pretty complicated shot it creates just directly from text to video. And then obviously if you're using, um, you can always use the image reference as well. So you just come here and add a start frame. So if you want to create like a, um, you know, like an image with Google's Nano Banana, right? Like you want to input your own image. So this is what I did. I just basically said to replace the guy inside the car uh, with my image. So I just generated this crazy image of mine. And then what I did was actually use Klingo One, which is another crazy model that gives you the ability uh, to edit existing video with a reference image. So for example, you can just upload the video and this is what the result looked like. So as you can see in this one, I used the Kling 01 edit, which is another expensive model, but it's great because it gives you the ability to change uh, the characters inside a video. So this one, I just said change the man in the driver's seat with the attached reference image. The attached reference image is the image that I generated with Nano Banana there. And this is what I came up with. So very cool. As you can see, it has the, it did a good job of replacing the driver with my face. I mean, it's not like super high quality, uh, but it still does a really good job of replacing the existing driver, which was the original um, video that we saw earlier with my face that I generated a screenshot or a new image of myself with Nano Banana there. But anyway, so these are the different things that you can do with these crazy models. This Klingo one is, edit is going to be insane, I think. So another thing, by the way, is like with all of these models, the Kling 2.6, VO 3.1, you can also start with a start frame, which is going to be a reference image that you can add. So that way, if you want to change the quality of the video and make it a lot better, you can generate the image through Nano Banana uh, or some other like Sea Dream or something like that, where you can add a reference image. So that way, the video is referenced into that. But I was just comparing the text to videos so that way we can see the models, how good they are so far. Obviously, these, these models are going to get even uh, better as time goes by, especially when it comes to like, you know, generating videos or AI UGC ads or product images. And if you're interested in learning that, check out the community. I'm going to put the link in the description. We have courses on different levels of, you know, AI automations with voice retail. And also, most importantly, we talk about how you can monetize these skills and how you can make money with AI. So we have an entire five week course on how to get your first customer check out the link in the description thanks for watching hopefully you found this helpful make sure you like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one